And in the verse section, we have this, it's kind of, sounds to me like they've put a little bit of overdrive on the bass, or they've, they've, it sounds like the bass is overloading slightly at this point anyway. It gives it a kind of really fat, round sound. And he, again, I think he's playing it all on the E string. And he's, it's an A to a C. A to C. I don't think he's playing the C on the A string. I think he's sliding up to the C here. So that's fret five to fret eight. And we get this. In between all of these, I think every couple of bars, the, uh, the band hit a, a D. And I don't actually think um, John Paul Jones hits that D. I think it's just the guitar and the drums that hit that D. But um, you can make your own minds up on that one. I would think he's just playing this. If he is hitting the D, it would be like this. And you could possibly put it in if you're doing it with the band, it might sound quite good. Um, okay, so we've got eight bars of that A to C section. Then we have a little link section, which is just made of, of three notes, really. And that's all it is. It goes from A, D, A, D, A. And that's seven on your D string to seven on your G string. We just do that kind of A, C, A, C, A, and hold it. And then we're back in with riff A, the whole section as we played it before, with the four bars of A, two bars of B, and the two bars of A. Uh, then we're into verse two, which is uh, the same thing as before, which is the A to the C slide. This happens for eight bars. Every now and again, on he, he changes, there's a couple of little fills in there. Uh, on the second bar, we've got something where he holds the C for a little bit longer, so it kind of, the first bar is as, as we've done it. Second bar, he kind of holds the C for longer. On the fourth bar, he plays a little passing note, which is a B on the way down. So we get this. And, um, he just he, he sticks in just tiny little bits here and there, but the, the main crux of it is this A to C. Then at that we've got link, what I would regard as link to it, slightly different, um, or is it? No, it isn't actually. It's, it's pretty well exactly the same. <laughs> I'll take that back. So we have uh, the link two, which is A C A C A. Um, Timing-wise, it may be slightly different where it lands, but you'll hear that when you play along with it. Uh, and then we're into what I regard as riff B, um, which is this, this original guitar riff, but moved to C. So our start note is C. I'm playing that there, and I'm gonna play this almost the same shape, except for the last note. So it's the same shape as we played before but I'm gonna play the last note here with my little finger, okay? Which is a B flat. You could play it there if you wanted to with your first finger, depending on which, uh, which of your fingers is the strongest. I tend to prefer this one here. It falls a little bit easier under my fingers. So we end up with, uh, with this. So we've got C, which is third fret, A string. We've got uh, E flat, which is uh, sixth fret, A string. Third fret, uh, D string, F, and that's three, four, five, F, F sharp, G. And then for our last note, I normally use my little finger and play six on E, which is B flat here. So we get this. And then the same, same phrasing as the other riffs. It does this four times. Good thing about this is if you learn this shape like this, you can then just shift it up to D.
Okay, so that's just shifting the whole shape up two frets. I'll give you the notes. So you've got D, that's fifth fret, five, six, seven, eight, fret eight on A string, five, six, seven on your D string, and then we've got five, six, seven, eight on your E. So you get this. For the D, we play that twice. And we shift the whole thing up again to E. The exact shape moved up two frets. The star note is uh, seven on your A string. And you just play two there at that point. Then we're into uh, what I'd regard as a build section, really. It's kind of another bridge section where we uh, move to E.